Um, and I think the, the other thing that I have learned over the period of, I guess, five years um, is the ability to build teacher capacity. And um, I believe you do that by building a great community of teachers. Normally our courses are between 26 and 30 high school teachers and many of them are social studies teachers, some are special ed teachers, some are uh, English language learning learners um, they, is their focus. So um, really to know who your teachers are, some of them are what we call cine schools who are um, schools in need of improvement. I would say one third of the teachers come from schools in need of improvement, but I know a lot of the Manhattan schools and many of them work with underprepared students, whether they are from schools in need of improvement or not, classified as such. So um, I think it's important to build a community of learners. So I always um, make certain that the teachers are able to communicate with one another um, by email, and I work a lot in group sort of activities during the class to make certain that they get to interact with people that they don't know. And uh, it tends that teachers, once I sort of hook them in, they come for other courses, which is great. And um, sometimes you get to know over a period of time what people's strengths are. So I have learned to tap into those teachers, and sometimes I give them a portion. I see where they could fit in in a particular course. Um, I like to give the teachers an opportunity to become leaders, to be able to shine in front of their, their colleagues. And I find that the um, community of teachers that we have, or the community of learners that we have, they're so supportive of one another. Uh, it's really terrific to watch. So careful planning and building a good team that you know uh, we're all together on this, we have the same goal, and the idea of allowing the teachers to become leaders, allowing them to show how they can shine and teach their colleagues.